Welcome to the Cascadia Ranch of the Dirt Library. We have current news and rocks. Not much else. Saturday, August 22nd, 2020, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. We have four pieces of information to cover today, including after pandemic, China leaders face new challenges from flooding. Also, courtesy of UPI, Three Gorges Dam hits record levels as flooding continues in China. Next, courtesy of Market Watch, historic flooding presents biggest ever challenge for China's massive Three Gorges Dam. We also have some photos courtesy of China Daily and some new footage. Let's hop into it. And a brief caveat before today's video. While researching for these reports, I come across information from various sources. Just because I decide to include a piece of information doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with it. I like to let you decide for yourself. Moving on. Moving on. And a quick look at the status of the water level at the Three Gorges Dam before we get started. The current water level at the Three Gorges Dam is 167.64 meters. The current inflow is listed at 42,000 cubic meters per second, and the current outflow is listed at 48,000 cubic meters per second. Yesterday's water level was 166.96 meters. It is worth noting that all numbers are released by the CCP. And this comes courtesy of the New York Times. After pandemic, China's leaders face new challenges from flooding. Unusually heavy rains have wreaked havoc in central and southwestern China, leaving hundreds dead and disrupting the economy's post-pandemic recovery. Having brought the pandemic largely under control, China's leaders are now struggling with the surge of crippling floods that have killed hundreds of people and displaced millions across the central and southwestern parts of the country. Flooding on the Yangtze River peaked again this week in Sichuan province and the sprawling metropolis of Chongqing. While the Three Gorges Dam, 280 miles downstream, reached its highest level since it began holding water in 2003, this year's flooding has unfolded not as a single natural disaster with an enormous loss of life and property, but rather as a slow, merciless series of smaller ones whose combined toll has steadily mounted, even as official reports have focused on the government's relief efforts. The Chinese nation has fought natural disasters for thousands of years, gaining precious experience, the country's leader Xi Jinping declared on Tuesday after a visit to Anhui, another flooded province downstream from the Three Gorges Dam, we should continue to fight. Xi called China's disaster relief efforts a practical test of the leadership and command system of our army. He met with relatives of three people who died while fighting floods, and on Wednesday he addressed officers of the People's Liberation Army and the People's Armed Police, which have been involved in the relief work. Public appearances in flood-stricken areas by Xi underscored the severity of the crisis, which has delivered another blow to an economy still struggling to rebound from the pandemic. One resident of Chongqing in a video of the flooding there that circulated on the popular social media wow. platform That's said the losses have been heavy for... Now we're the virus. <gasps> what they are doing is calling our chromosome 8. Primary assembly has the coronavirus. We are the virus. Your own DNA, like I've been saying, like I've been teaching, here's the evidence that what they are pulling out of your body and calling a disease is your own DNA. First of all, viruses do not exist as described. We do not have contagion and we do not have a germ theory. That is all false. What is going on and what these PCR tests do is actually take components of our own waste materials that are there to them when our bodies are stressed and strained and they uh, remove waste and they repair damaged DNA. So what this specific um, 
article is going to help you understand is that this piece, this highlighted piece of DNA, so these are base pairs, and they have there's four base pairs, and they make different combinations. So this is the so-called uh, novel coronavirus uh, that they search for in your body and that they put in the PCR test, which is not even supposed to be used as a test. It's actually a tool to uh, make more copies of this so you can tell what you actually have in your body. Um, so this is uh, the sequence. It's an 18-character primer, and it's found in the WHO coronavirus PCR testing protocol document, which is right here. Okay. The Institute of Pasteur Pasteur was a fraud, a liar, a hoaxer, yeah, a fake. Bouchon. And if you want to learn you know about that. him, you can read Beauchamp versus Pasteur. Um, there's, there's, a very, there's a lot of information about... Now this, on the other Pasteur hand, is not fraud. His, um, his hidden laboratory notes. Third library. That were only released recently. So this is the full sequence of full information where he got this. <sighs> well, you know. So what's happened here is this is what they're using to detect in your body and to make a positive test result. Okay. This is their sequencing, their primary assembly. Now over here, this is Homo sapiens, that's humans, chromosome eight primary assembly. Chromosome eight is this sequence. C T C C C T T T G T T G T G T T G T. Very specific. And over here, specific. C T C C C T T T G T T G T G T T G T. It's this. What they are doing is calling our chromosome eight primary assembly as the coronavirus <laughs> we are the virus your own dna like i've been saying like i've been teaching hmm. here's the evidence that what they are pulling out of your body and this should really help you okay Und what they are pulling out of your body and calling a disease is your own dna this should really help you, okay, understand the scam at hand here. Well, that's really something. Huh? Anyway, more information that we didn't know. All right. Hmm. All fuzzy eyes and stuff. I can't really see what I'm doing. Oh. Uh, well, anyway. Kind of interesting about the times we're living in. So, uh, out here in the dirt library. Lots to learn. Well, talk to you later.